Okay, so this is Piano 3 at Kane University. Uh, read your syllabus very carefully. And then look at your week-to-week -week lesson sheet. By the way, you have to buy these books. The Frack and Paul book and the Landing book. If you don't buy the Bergmuller book, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. But I do need the Landing and Frack and Paul book. Now, in the Landing book on page 84 is this prelude. So I... Uh, emailed you this in advance just in case you didn't have, have your books on time but I, I need you to buy those books immediately if not sooner so we're going to look at the prelude right now and we're only doing the first four lines and this is all chordal it's all chordal so the first measure you can see is C E G C E it's all C major but the left hand plays the first two notes the right hand plays the rest so the left hand serves as a pedal. You could pedal it, if you like. Bach didn't have a pedal, but uh, we certainly use it in this day and age. Not everybody does. So the left hand plays C, E, right hand plays the rest. You're going to learn it in block chords, so you play them all together. Then you look at the next measure, C, D, a, D, F. Make sure you use these fingerings. The next measure is B, D, G, D, F. And then comes C major again. So if I play those four measures as one big chord, you hear the melody. It's on top. But you'll play it. You'll play it slow to learn but no notes come together so it's really not a problem look at the fifth measure fifth measure it goes to a minor c e a e a that's an a minor chord next measure is d7 chord next measure is a g chord with a b in the bass and there's another c chord but a b in the bass creating tremendous dissonance. Then it resolves to the A. And the D7 chord, play them all together. N, G, B, D, G. So the first day or two, just play. Find the second measure. Find the third measure. And the fourth measure. And so on. Okay? So it sounds like this. through a journey and you eventually end on that five one five okay you'll practice that if you ever have any questions along the way you can email me text me call me but don't just play erroneously and just play with the wrong notes now we're on page one the bottom number three simple little melody left hand by the way is just d f sharp a c sharp g a you've played these chords just broken up. This is a watered down A7 chord. And the right hand's a melody. So it's four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Use these fingerings together. Take it 10 minutes to learn this. When I'm in class, I have the class play it. They know it in 10 minutes. Feel it too. And put them together. It's real easy, but next at the next lesson after that, we transpose it to different keys. That's why I picked a nice easy piece to start with. And finally, on the scale sheets, 
you have a D flat scale and a C sharp minor scale. On page four, I'm on measure 141. We, we did these. There's at least one person in this class who didn't have me last semester or any time. We did this. You're going to have to just learn it now. And the others will just review it. So a D flat scale is two, three, one, two, three, four. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Left hand's three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Two, three, one. The good part about the scale is that your long fingers are on the black notes and your short fingers are on the white notes. So when you play the scale together, thumbs land on one, uh, on the F. Then the scale, thumbs land on C. And you always play four whenever you can on B flat. So it's like this. The right hand's two, three, left hand's three, two. The right hand's two, three, four, left hand's four, three, two. Mirror image. The hand's a mirror image. You just keep going. Very easy scale to play, but you have to figure it out. And it's all five flats, you're using all the all, all the black keys. Then you have an arpeggio. The finger rings are four uh, arpeggios on measure 145. Four, one, two, four. Four, one, two, four. Left hands, two, one, four, two. Backwards again. Left hands, two, one, four. Right hands, four, one, two. Don't do this. Don't do this stuff. Just stay steady. Reach for the notes. Just reach for the notes. Reach for the notes. Then there's a bunch of chords on measure 148. D flat major. You flat the third, you get D flat minor. You flat the fifth, you get D flat diminished. Raise the fifth, you get D flat augmented. Those are the symbols for major, minor, augmented, diminished, and there are others. We'll talk about them. Then D flat six. Then D flat minor six. Minor always means flat the third. Then major seven. Prettiest chord in the world. Major seven, seven, lower the seven. D flat minor seven, right? Then lower the fifth, you get D flat minor seven flat five. Half diminished seven, or a full diminished seven coming up. Where you get to the D flat. When you play the C sharp minor scale, make sure you raise the seven. C sharp, D sharp, E. F sharp, G sharp, A, B sharp. Left hands, three, two, one, just like D flat, same as D flat. And the arpeggio at the end is the same fingerings as the uh, D flat major. And that's it. So that should do it. Again, when you practice and begin practicing immediately, you can't practice the... Uh, until you get the Fracken Pole book, but you'll learn that in 10 minutes. It's very easy. Work on the prelude, work on the scales, and then work on the uh, page uh, one, number three, when you get it. Call me if you have any trouble, and we'll go over it. Meanwhile, be safe, stay healthy.